Hey planners, welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. So today's video I have for you my spring lineup. I decided that I wanted to switch up some things for April and rolling into May. So if you want to check out this video, then keep on watching. Welcome back planners. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my channel. And today I have for you some planners that I want to share with you what I'm swapping out that I'm currently using. So this stack here is what I'm currently using and we'll talk a little bit about that. And then I'll have a separate video for setups on some of these planners. So this stack is what I'm currently using. And then I do have my new stack over here that I'm going to be swapping out and just trying out for April and May. And then I may switch it up in the summer just because of like my schedule with my kids and family. And most of the time I like to have something on the go. But with that said, I do use the Erin Condren this year. And that was like a goal of mine to have something that was like an all in one catch all and it was easier on me. But anyways, this stack here is all my new planners that I want to swap out. And this is my current stack. So I just kind of want to go over this first. So this is my Erin Condren um, EC Folio System. When I looked this up and researched a little bit about this last year, um, which I kind of started this like back in October, November, I was like, yeah, I want to use this for the new year because I wanted to switch my style of planning up. And what I mean by that is that I used to Franken plan and a happy plan or something like this. And Franken planning is where you take inserts and um, you categorize them by building a planner and setting it up that way all in one. And then you can customize it with like dividers, um, accessory things. It's just like a it's, it's a type of Frankenstein planner, if you will. Um, I don't know who started it in the planner community, um, but it's something that a lot of happy planners do. A lot of people that use the disbound system, they call it a franking planning system. It's where they want to have everything that they're planning in their life in all in one. So it's also known as like a catch-all. So that's what I wanted to have for the Erin Condren folio system because it's like um it's it has four bands but when i first started this i thought four bands was just way too heavy for this thing so i broke it down to three and then um that just worked out better for me so i just had to pick out the top three things that i wanted to carry around with me to plan with um so yeah i basically used this as my catch-all and I guess I should back this up. What I plan for are like mom everyday stuff, which is basically my catch all stuff, uh, social media content planning, uh, faith planning, and then my health and wellness, which I also include fitness. But um, lately it's just been more of like, I've been calling it more. I used to call it fitness and wellness because I feel like those two go go together one. Um, but you can call it wellness, you could call it fitness and wellness or your health um, portion that you plan. But those are like the top things that I plan for. So that's what I have in this stack. So this is like my catch all for mom life and day to day planning. Um, this is my social media planner for content creating. This is my fitness and wellness. And then this, these two together is um, my faith planning. So I have this uh, daily Christian journal by Erin Condren. And then this is my devotional planner um, that is Frank and planned um, with happy planner inserts and accessories. So I'm going to try to like move some of this to the side so I can make some space. So again, I picked this up back in the fall and I got this one was my very first cover and I got it um, personalized with just my initial and S. This one's called the Starry Sky, I believe. And I think currently it's sold out. But um, if you, I think they may have like an email wait list if you put your name and then they'll email you when it's back in stock maybe. I'm not really sure if Erin Condren provides that, but a lot of websites do that so if you want to double check that um 
This has a Hello Kitty bow on it. Those I think are still on the website. And uh, this is a Hello Kitty Erin Condren charm. And then this is a paper clip charm my mother-in-law makes. Um, and then I just added these charms on the paper clip so it just slides right on. So it's super easy type of accessory to add to your planner. But it's just a faith and my initial, and I got these either from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So this is really fun to accessorize like a kind of tea in, if you will, planner where you can just add little charms. But I really love this, it's super cute. And what I have in here currently, um, I definitely have to reset this up because I have stickers in here from Go Wild, so a lot of these stickers are not really related to what I plan with daily. So in the front here, I have the Erin Condren adhesive pocket. This is the what they call the medium size, I think. Um, I don't have the larger one in here. It's actually in my other folio. Um, if you guys have seen that one, it's the mid-century circle one that has the larger pockets in. Um, I've noticed that if I put too much stickers in these smaller pockets, or they call them the medium pockets, they tend to fall out. So if I have like a minimal amount in here, they do just fine. And the larger pocket though, I was talking about in my other video that I would set one up in the back because, um, let me just grab it so I can tell you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the other folio that I have. Um, I just wanted to grab it so I can show you what I'm talking about. So these are the large pockets. And I really think, um, I don't have another set of these. I just have one small or one medium pocket. I think how I would set these up if I wanted to use the large pocket is to have one in the back because the one in the front tends to flip open because of the weight being pushed from the uh, petite planners. And that just bugs me. Personally, it's a, it's a, it's a preference. So you, you don't have to do this. This is just tips that I've learned carrying this EC folio system. So I think I would um, just have a large pocket in the back and then a medium pocket in the front. Um, yeah, so just wanted to point that little tip out. That's just something that I've learned using this. Okay, and then this is a Erin Condren insert. These are really great and they're affordable. Um, I picked up a backup just in case they stopped selling these but normally I just swap this out. It's super easy to swap out. And you can put your washi cutter in here, or if you have like a stencil that you use, you can put photos, you can put sticky note uh, page markers, or if you have stickers that come in like a two by, I guess this would be a two by three, like a business card size maybe. Um, those, work really well to keep it organized to like functional use or like everyday stickers that you normally use so you can find them. You don't have to flip through a bunch of stickers. So if you guys have been following me, um, you know that mine actually both busted on me, the bands, which is fine because it had like a metal plate on it and I just, ret uh, I just retied it. And it left me with three bands and both of these, they busted on me. Um, which is fine because I already use this with three booklets because four is just way too heavy. Um, so it's, it kind of worked out perfect and they still work. So in here I have the Daily Planner by Erin Condren and I'm so happy that this whole thing is completely filled out. I just love it. So on this um, cover, I do have this glitter clear cover and I kind of use it for pockets. Too. I just stick stickers anywhere. But anyways, I only have two of these. I really hope Erin Condren comes back with these because they're really, really great. Even if it was just a plain clear one, um, I think it's great because it keeps them sturdy and protected. So I'm definitely gonna have to swap these out when I set up my new one for April. But um, this daily goes up until March. So it started in January till March and I will definitely have to take that out. This one, they do come with pockets too. I just, sometimes I just use these to slide things in. But that's my daily. Um, 
for everyday planning. And then this is my meal planner. This is the other glitter cover that I have. Again, I hope they come out with more. And then I have the productivity journal. And I haven't used it too much, but I, I did wanna have this just for like making list and um, pre-planning or um, organizing birthdays or vacations and stuff like that. Like right now I'm planning to go to Texas, so I'm probably gonna use this to pre-plan that out and what we're packing and budgeting and things like that. So I like having like a journal, some type of journal that they offer in here. So those are the three booklets that I use for like everyday planning, for like mom stuff, and I'll take this with me on the go. It has everything that I need. Um, and I do use the monthly portion. I use that for appointments and games and things like that for my child. So this is um, my monthly for March. And I had these little tabs that I got from Sweet Quiet Designs. And This is February, and the March one I messed up and put it on the wrong page. This is my March, and I kind of keep in the same color palette because I think it's cute like that. Um, so I do use the monthly. I love using monthlies. I would say I'm a big monthly, so far daily. Um, so monthly, daily, and horizontal is kind of what I use most. Uh, planner layouts. So this is my little catch-all. It's my mom little catch-all on the go. I love this thing. So that I'm keeping. I'm just swapping out the daily planners. Okay, next is my faith. We'll go ahead and do faith. So this is the Erin Condren A5 um, Christian Journal. It is a three-month little planner here. Um, I got really busy in March, and so I'm going to spend some time in April to finish this up. But um, I, some of this I didn't get fully finished, but some of it is dated, so I can go back and reflect and write the verses of the day. I use the Bible app, and so if you use the Bible app, it gives you all the verses of the day to reflect on and meditate. It has prayer, it has reflections, it has a devotional for that verse of the day. So um, this really helped just to um, memory verse every day. And it has like monthly re reflections and things. I really like this. This was definitely something new for me and I really enjoyed it. So, um, but I didn't really get to use it as much in March. So in April, I'm gonna spend a lots of time to dedicate to um, that because that's part of my wellness uh, for spring of, as a healthy habit. I wanna get back into this because you know sometimes I'm really good about it and I have a good routine going and then sometimes it just falls, but you know that's what's great about um, planners that are undated too. This is an undated one. So once I finish this, oh my gosh, I love the back. Um, I will use a new journal that I picked up so this is my devotional, and this is Franken-planned with a horizontal layout by Happy Planner. And this um, this is when I have time to do devo devotionals, when I set plans. I will pick devo devotionals and um, have one every day to read and reflect on, and this just gives me more um, quiet time and more time to journal and prayer and things like that. So this is a horizontal layout. So it gives me some more space to write. So um, I will need to prep this for April because again, I don't think I touched it in March. It just flew by so fast, but um, the dividers are simply beautiful. It's an 18 month planner that I had from Happy Planner from I think the spring release in 20, 21, maybe. It's so pretty. And then I have like these note pages to write more prayers and things. So that's what I use for devotions. Um, yeah, so this one just needs to be refreshed and set up. I don't think I have anything to swap this out 
just this one when I'm completed April I will switch to a new journal that I'll share with you guys okay so that's my faith then this is my fitness and wellness that I started with 2022 um, this was sent to me by pop flex I think that's what they're called but it's Belagi's if you guys know her um, I was using this for January and February and a little bit of March, not so much. Um, it's a really chunky fitness planner. And it's a really great like educational planner. It has a lot of um, informative things. It has like a cute pocket in the back. Um, it has great graphics. Um, I really enjoyed flipping through this planner and sharing this with you all, but for me, it would, it's just, first of all, it's vertical and it doesn't give you a lot of space. And I just was getting bored of it to be quite honest with you. Um, it's just, it's just not for me right now. <laughs> right now I need something that's more of my lifestyle and what I'm actually looking for or what I'm actually tracking. So I switched over to something else, but uh, I do appreciate this planner, but I did have issues with also, it has like these daily things to write down your food and all that. And then you have your workouts, which is a vertical. I just don't enjoy all the pages in between, if that makes any sense. But I think my favorite part of about this planner is the uh, the prep pages because I think those are very important for me as a fitness or wellness planner. I love having like your monthly plans. Like, what are you gonna do to get your fitness and wellness going? Like, I love that. Then, if you're someone who wants to do something every single day, like I think I get stuck with weekly planning. Um, and I like the daily portion or I like a monthly view of like, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Because as a planner, if you have so many planners, <laughs> it gets too much, right? So you're not able to touch everything. So some planners need to be different from your catch-all, right? Your catch-all can be like your weekly or daily. And then your other planners need to be something quick and easy. So for like a, sometimes for like a fitness and wellness, if you have um, something that's super simple and you're like, okay, what, am, what are my goals this month? And that's all you reflect on. And then you have like a couple of pages to write down um, what you're eating or what your plans are to eat for this month and write out a list and some ideas and that's it. And then check back in it instead of having like all this in between. You know what I mean? So I think it's easier when you do try new layouts, try different types of planners to see what works for you in your time, in your schedule. Because I've noticed that with me because I'm really bad with time management. So this was just not working. It's still a great planner. If this is all that I had to dedicate time to, perfect. But because I'm using multiple planners, it just didn't get as much time as I wanted it to. So it still is a beautiful planner. Like I love the cover. Again, this is by Bloggies that I, um, they sent me for me to review and share with you all. So I'm gonna take some of my stats out of here though. I love that I, again, I love that one page with all my stats and things. I think that's perfect for you to challenge yourself at the beginning of each month. If you are someone who plans um, for, fitness and wellness and your health and all that. So this is getting swapped out. And then this is my social media planner. Again, this is something that I just couldn't get to every single day. That's why I also have a journal in this system. So if I didn't have time to take my social media planner out, which this is supposed to be more in depth and detail, then I could write some notes in my productivity journal. And then also I do have a work section because I consider this kind of my part-time job. It takes a lot of my time and energy and effort. Um, so for example, this page in the daily, I have you know priorities, errands, buys, chores, and then I have this midsection for my kids in school. And then I have healthy habits 
which is my workouts and memory verses and then work stuff. So in the work section, I always put like top things. What do I have to film today? What do I have to edit today? Do I have thumbnails? Do I have an IG post? Um, do I need to squeeze some time in to reply to comments? Like that little portion goes here. But if, I, if I'm collabing or someone reaches out to me and wants to set up a live or or someone reaches out wants me to review some planners and so I need to be able to have a space to put all that so I don't forget either. So this planner represents that. This is the wrong wrong um, vertical I can and I will planner. It's a 12 month. It's a beautiful planner. The pages are beautiful. They're super soft but it is a vertical weekly. I just don't function in that way with a vertical weekly. Um, I can tell you what I love about this and why I want to keep this. I just need to change some things. I love the currently pages. I'm big on currently pages or prep pages, whatever you want to call them. Um, hers are really great. It has monthly af affirmations, an action list, monthly goals, and it has a portion for uh, your wellness. So if that's something you don't plan, you know, make sure you look at that in planners. Have a checklist when you're looking for something or buying a planner or every month, have like a little planner reference checklist and see if it checks all the things that you're looking for. So it has a body and soul. And so for example, I put, you know, prayer, Bible app, verses of the day, making sure I'm having breakfast. Um, I also could put in here vitamins. Um, snack and water, make sure, because in the beginning of the year I had these goals of getting my metabolism going, so I would make sure that I'm eating at certain times of the day. Walk breaks, switching to tea, I don't drink coffee anymore, now I have tea, and um, favorite music, you know, sometimes music puts me in, in a good mood. So I love this, I love this here, I love I just love it. Um, then it had this page that I would use for stickers and quotes. So that was um, January. Let me show you February. Here's the February one. I really love it. Again, I did the same thing. Um, and if I didn't do any of these wellness checklist things, I would just mark it out and maybe implement it in the next month. I've been trying to set time to read. Has not happened. <laughs> I do like reading. Okay, so yeah, this is a weekly layout and I tried to do an hourly thing. I'm still working on that. I'm not the best with like blocking time. Again, that's one of my weaknesses with time management. So um, I tried that method and it just, just a weekly layout or weekly vertical for work stuff just does not work for me. So I wanna change it up in April to see what will to see if something else works for me that I have in mind, and I'll share that in a minute. But I do like the monthly view. I use that for all my content video planning. This is all for YouTube, and then I write my top videos that I have to get done out first on the sidebar. So again, I tried to use this more as a check, like a run-on to-do. You could still do that in a vertical layout. It's just like a run-on type of thing, but I don't know, I think using it as a weekly is just overwhelming for me as far as a social media planner. The paper is so pretty. It's just so soft. I love her paper. So here's March. Again, monthly affirmations, action list. I use this note section for stickers and quotes, uh, monthly goals, and then body and soul. I love her dividers. So this is my March monthly with all my filming schedule and then this is April this is what it looks like that's why I want to keep some of this and I'm just gonna like change it up a little bit because so I love the dividers I love the monthly current prep page I guess that's what I'm gonna call it I just I'm going to swap out the weekly guts so this is my social media planner the back, I have um, some extra note pages from when Wrong Wrong, Wrong, Wrong is a illust uh, illustrator for fashion, and she has evolved in the planner world. She's amazing. You guys can check her out on Instagram. She has a Facebook group. 
but she has some items when she collabed with Happy Planner that I have in here. Um, I have this little sticky note bookmark I made, and then this is just a plastic snap-in envelope that I keep extra stickers in. I have a folder that's Happy Planner, it's classic. Her planner, this is her planner. It's a little bit bigger than a Happy Planner Classic, but it works just as fine if you have any of the Happy Planner Classic size stuff. That's my social media planner. That's my fitness and wellness. This is Faith, and now I can share with you the new things that I will be using. All right, so this is everything new that I'm gonna try to work on in April and May. So it's a sheet of stickers that I recently picked up in the Erin Condren um, warehouse sale, and I thought I would decorate my new daily planner um, with that. So this is the volume two, April to June. It does have a pocket, some sheet of stickers. So I'm excited to use this. Um, this is a, you guys have asked about this cover. The cover is by Planny Thing. Um, I'm not sure if she still has these available. You'll definitely have to check the link down below um, to see, but this fits a classic size Happy Planner. And then if you have anything close to that, like this, this is a Coco Daisy planner, which fits perfectly in there. It's super beautiful. They're made really well. It has pockets on both sides. Okay, so this, I don't know about this. You just saw that come off. So I love the cover of this. Um, I love the um, inserts to this. However, the covers are very thin. It's a very thin laminated cover. But I thought I would love to use this as my memory planner. I really wanna make time for that. I, that's something in my planner lineup that I don't have time to do, and I really would love to do that. So, you know, I do daily catch-all stuff, mom stuff. I do fitness, wellness, social media content, and then faith, and then I would love to do memory planning. It just, again, it's one of those things where I have to pick a planner to make time for that I can do that. Um, so this has really great inserts, and I set this up with, Happy Planner Disc. You can get these pages sent to you unbound or punched. And I think she does offer a spiral bound, like a notebook form. So this is a six month undated planner and you can do whatever you want with it. But Coco Daisy is known for something that's, they wanna do memory planning and everyday planning into one. So they give you two inserts or two layouts, sorry. So they give you this monthly view, they give you this horizontal weekly view, and they give you a vertical weekly view. So either one of these you can use for memory keeping. Let me grab a photo. Okay, so I have some photos here that I've printed off two by threes. So you can add your photos. Um, so let's say you use this for planning. So you're gonna plan just like daily focus priorities, right? And then you're gonna leave a space for your, the highlight of your day. So what I would do is I would take photos at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week, you're gonna have all those printed and then you're gonna come back and place those in your planner. So you'll leave a space for your photo. So. If I was using it in that way, that's how I would approach it. I would just basically focus on what I needed to, what was really important for me to put down on paper that I needed to focus on on that day. Um, and I do want to point out that this is Monday through Friday, and then you have Saturday and Sunday at the bottom. So that may be something you might have to adjust with your photo. I do use a pick grid, a pick grid app. So sometimes it's really cool that you can put a bunch of photos in and it'll shrink it down for you. And then you'll take that photo and get it printed like at Walgreens or something. So again, 
try to use an app that has like multiple grids in it so it'll collage your photos and you can get it printed that way. You know what I mean? So instead of doing like a whole two by three. So, um, that's the vertical layout, the horizontal layout. is Monday. This one's a little tricky. This I don't, I'm not really sure if I like because it has Saturday and Sunday in this, in this one column. I don't know if that really works for me, but, um, yeah, with this one, the two by threes don't really fit. You'd have to definitely crop your photos if you wanted to memory keep here, or if you don't mind the overlays, but the two by threes are a little bit big. And then you have Saturday and Sunday in this one column. I don't really know about that. So you may have to use this for something else as far as planning and then maybe use your vertical for your memory planning portion. But this is something in my lineup. I'm gonna try to figure this out because I really want to implement planning or memory planning um, and I want to use this. This is again by Coco Daisy. So you can definitely check them out on YouTube if you guys need some more inspiration and examples of how they memory plan. They do have like a subscription kit and things like that. A lot of like um, crafter embellishments like die cuts, sticker die cuts. Um, I think maybe stamps. Um, you can tell by this paper it's like a bright white so it's used for like different um, markers and things and just for you to decorate more. It's definitely for you to decorate more. And maybe scrapbook. And the tabs, um, you will have to date them. But the only, my only thing is like the cover. I'll have to use maybe a stronger cover because this one pops off. Unless it was punched wrong. But yeah, so this is the Coco Daisy planner that I would like to use for memory keeping. And maybe just back memory keeping. Maybe like all the spring break trips that we've taken or just any trips that we've taken, like vacation trips or something um, that I want to start looking back at with my girls because I have not been doing that. Okay. So this planner here, um, you, if you guys saw my uh, vlog, Spring Shop With Me, I picked this up. This is a monthly layout. It's Happy Planner. It's classic 12 month, January through December. It's a beautiful cover. And I picked this up for, this is gonna help my social media planning. This is the inserts that I want to use. So I'll have to figure that out because I did mention that Wrong Wrong's pages, I think, maybe a little bit bigger. Probably not too much. But um, I may just keep Wrong Wrong's monthly pages and then use the monthly inserts here. So I like this as a work planner or social media planner because, again, it's very flexible to what I can plan. Like, I can do whatever I want with this. It's not like a weekly view where it just makes me feel like Oh my gosh, you have to do all these things in one day. I don't like that. Like for me, I think that's why I like a daily because I don't feel bad if I don't get to it. Does that make sense? Like, okay, for a weekly for me, if you week, if you plan it out in a week and you don't get to it or like you have to get that done, like it, it overwhelms me. I like to take my day one day at a time. Does that make sense? So this monthly view is like a dashboard. So it has like these free spaces for me to work with. It says monthly goals, says jot it down, top parties, but I can totally wipe that out. Put a new box sticker over that or header or whatever. And I would write down video ideas for January, uh, lifestyle photo ideas, collab ideas, um, project ideas. Um, if you make stickers, maybe you want to figure out what type of stickers you want to come out with in the next couple of months or whatever. Um, upgrade. I need to upgrade my, 
I don't know, whatever the case may be. But also you could use this for work, you could use this for school. So if you have meetings, these are the meetings that I have going on. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't have um, a work office job like that, but you, you get what I'm saying? Like you could totally use this to your lifestyle and all these different, this, these pages are blank for you for that. But anyways, that's how I'd like to use this. And I've used this before in a classic and a mini for social media content planning. It does have these months here that you can track, like if you wanna track how many YouTube videos you do in a month or uh, Instagram lives or reels, um, you have three of those monthly like habit trackers. Um, I don't really use these too much. I really just like using these to get my thoughts out, plans out, so. That's what I use that for. And then with this monthly layout, it has like these run on to do lists. So this is where I like this because it's not like, it's not like a have to thing. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I have to get these done. I can just write this out. And if I don't get to it, I don't get to it. So I really, really love these pages. And then it has two line note pages. So these are my new insert pages that I will be swapping out. And of course the dividers are super cute. I can totally use these for my faith devotional if I wanted to keep these for that. Cause I'm basically just gonna take the inserts out. So, and keep everything else on this planner. So that's gonna cover my social media. And then this will be my faith. I bought these new Edivy A5 covers. And this is a new journal from Erin Condren that I thought I can turn into verses of the day because it's undated and I have these boxes for me to write out my verse, to reflect, to put on what I'm grateful for. I can list here who I'm praying for and I can just mark over that and use, just write right over it, not a big deal. So we'll see how this works and I'm gonna swap out the covers. So that'll be my faith memory verse um, journal. Okay, this I'm adding because I really want to try this out. This is something way out of my element, but Julie over at JMB Living sent me this, and this is for Joyful Mindful Balance, and it starts in April, and I'm just really intrigued by it. I just want to take time to read some of the entries in here and just... You know take a moment to reflect on this planner I will have a full review and flip through on this but you can totally check her out on Instagram and yeah so this is more of like a um, mindful balance like reflection wellness journal so I just want to be able to pick this up every now and then and see how this goes for me because I'm just really intrigued by that okay Lastly is fitness and wellness. So this is a Erin Condren planner folio. I think that's what it's called. And I haven't set this up, but in here I have a monthly uh, soft vegan leather planner. It has the rose gold coil on it and it flips beautifully. I don't have any issues with having this type of you know, coil planner. I mean, Erin Condren planners are really nice. I've had them before. I've shared this a sneak peek on my Instagram if you guys follow me there, but I will be, I will be using this as my new fitness and wellness planner. Um, it is a monthly planner and I have March already kind of set up, but in my monthly portion, I will be tracking my stepping into spring um, incline walks and I put a little key here for indoor outdoor and then the days I've completed that's a 21 day of healthy habits and it's kind of a thing that I'm starting in the planner community it's whatever that you use for movement is kind of what the whole point of this challenge is and I've done these before in the planner community so my monthly view is to track my incline walks and the days that I've completed, and then also the miles and if I walked or ran, um, and the minutes. 
So that's what I use the monthly view for. And it has like this note page and this cool dashboard. Let me share what it looks like without um, everything on it. So it's a clean page like this. Again, it's kind of like the Happy Planner. It reminded me of the Happy Planner monthly planner layout because it's just, it's sectional um, and it's like free space for you to customize and work with. And I really, really like that. So that's my whole thing. Again, with the daily pages and the currently prep pages, it's just my thing. I've noticed that I really like that. So I'm using it for inspirational quotes for a photo of myself, my favorite memory verse for strength, my Apple Watch goals, spring healthy habits, getting outside, avoiding stressful situations, drink more water, maybe add lemon. I kind of use um, energy enhancers instead though. <laughs> Quiet time with God, which that is very something on my list. So I'm gonna get back into like picking out some devotionals. Um, and then tracking goals. I want to track my incline walks. Um, I have a goal, a certain goal with that. That's why um, exercise time, which is this. I want to make sure I get 45 minutes. And my steps, weight and body fat, calories and strength draining. I'm really big on that stuff, guys. <laughs> I love tracking fitness and wellness goals. Okay, so this is part of the spring challenge and this is just a list of everyone that's in the planner community who's participating that has been sharing so if you want to get down on that um it ends at the end of april just tag me um whatever you feel comfortable with and so this has note pages until it rolls to the next month so i just find this to be a lot more simpler and easy for me and what i'm going to plan on doing for note pages you can do anything um, I'm going to research meal plans. I'm going to research favorite snacks, uh, morning routine, evening routines I can put in here. It's kind of like a bullet journal type of thing. Um, we all love making our own planner pages, so you can totally do that, whatever you like. You can get really creative with this paper. You can stamp in it. You can add distress. You could add like distress, distress inks. You guys know I like doing that in my planners. Um, washi photos if you want to add photos of what you eat like i'm totally visual so like take a photo of like things that you love to eat your snacks so you don't forget like if you're like me and you forget i would love to see that in my planner so this is going to be for april and may i'm going to dedicate time for this to be my new fitness wellness health planner whatever you want to call it um, so April, I will continue tracking my incline walks and then May I'll change it to something else. And I also love that this is all bright colors and it swaps every month. And I have like these inspirational quotes for each divider, super simple, nothing too busy. I'm really excited about this. Um, this is an Edivy design here. So I will set this up and have this with me on the go if I'd like, which I will be traveling. So um, I will take this with me because I'm going to try to take some walks there while I'm there. Um, this is really cute. I don't know how this is going to work though. If it's with adding pens and stuff. So maybe just, just my favorite pens and then sticker sheets. I don't know, this is my first time having this. I did get my name on it at the bottom, I just put Sarah. But these things are really cool, guys. If you've never had one of these, you can change this. You don't have to have this pattern here. You can actually put a photo of yourself if you decide you wanna make this your wellness, like health system and have like a picture of yourself to motivate you or maybe somebody else that you, inspires you. Um, you do, you can add photos up to the, upload them to the website to, to customize this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I explained it well enough for you guys that I'm going to be swapping out some things or my planners and see how this works for me in April and March. Stay tuned for a setup video. 
but those are all my planners and hope you guys enjoyed this and got some tips out of this if you guys have any questions always leave it in the comments down below but as always i thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video take care stay safe and happy planning bye